Yes guys, my name's Morsi and we are back again for episode 20 of my FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. I honestly cannot believe we have made our way to episode 20. It feels like just yesterday, FIFA 21 was out and I was starting my journey. We come so far, 79 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough for subscribing and liking and commenting my videos. If you are new and you've just found my channel, please do consider dropping a subscription. I'm pushing to 100 subs, that is my goal currently. So every little sub helps. So I appreciate all the support, guys. Let's crack on with some Foot Champs gameplay. As you can see, 9-1 and one in the FIFA Ultimate Team Weekend League. The goal is 14. It's late on a Monday. I believe it's like late evening, about 7, 8 p.m. at this time. So we don't have a lot of time left, essentially. You know, I'm, I've got work in the morning. I can't necessarily be up too late. You know, I've got to be a sensible man. So we want to get to 14, maybe 17 wins as quick as possible. That's the aim. So we're sweating it. Completely non stop sweat central. Ben Yedda, that is the well, I mean, we've got the perfect player for it essentially, haven't we? We've got Ben Yedda in our team, so sweat is pretty much on the cards all day, every day. I am definitely going to think about mixing up this team going into the new weekend league. Uh, I've completed the Mukieli objective, the rule baker card. Obviously, we've got foot champs awards tomorrow, division rivals, new team of the week. You know, I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I did enjoy this team, but we've got a lot of coins in the coffers as well. Let's not forget, we've got about 600k come rewards, maybe a bit more than that, depending on if we take tradables or not. It's a lot of money to invest in a team that I really want to push back into Elite this coming weekend because we'll have the time to grind. I'll be sweating it out, so Elite is the aim. For Lorenzi though, bossing his way through the midfield and he finishes another goal for me in this weekend league. I kind of want to keep him in my team, but he's just so hard to link. Being Italian, PSG obviously, Mbappe, EA. If you're hearing me out here, give me Mbappe for my untradeable awards. Yes, please. That'd be beautiful, strong link to Florenzi. But at this current moment in time, my... It's so up in the air, I just don't know what to do with my team. It all depends on tomorrow, essentially. Rewards, it will pretty much decide what we end up doing. If we stick to where we're currently at now, or if we splash the cash, get in some big boys, which is probably what I'm going to do, because I want to have a bit of fun. I want to be able to dominate people with some super sweaty teams. So, 10 and 1 now. Ben Yedder gets the ball here for Martial. Sweat Central, Memphis Depay. That's a man I do want to keep in my team. I'm not going to lie, I did enjoy Depay this week. His skill moves, it might just be the fact that he's a red player pick and I get almost like, ooh, or giddy when I see him, when they pop up after scoring a goal, but quality player. Definitely do want to keep him in the team, but once again, he's Dutch. He plays for Leon. Not a lot of links. Obviously, you can get Dutch links, but then you're very much faced on having a lot of Dutch players to allow him to be on full chemistry. I've got Wijnaldum, I've got VVD, so it might be possible, but as I said a minute ago, it all comes down to tomorrow. Anyway, back to the point. We are 11-1 and one in this weekend league. Silver 1 is confirmed. And we come up against this team. Very good team. Very strong defence. 75 overall goalkeeper, which is questionable. But I tell you what, I don't think I left majority of these highlights in this as I want to get this video out as quick as possible. But this keeper made some fucking worldy of saves. Honestly, I could not score against him. He was saving everything. My opponent is a nice team. Icon Zola in there. Uh, at the end of the day, I wasn't too phased if I lost this. I was just going all out. Second, he scored this one. We went to ultra attacking and we just pushed, 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 which did end up creating a bit of space for my opponent, which you'll see very shortly. Mo Salah, the Afro Egyptian legend, does end up scoring another one for my opponent coming up just shortly. But I mean, it's not the end of the world if we get a loss. 11 and 2 is fine. As I said, 14 is the goal. So, I mean, we've got plenty of games to play, not a lot of time. I'm getting fed up. Oh, I've been getting fed up, essentially, okay? I don't want the weekend league to be extended. Friday night is a big time for me to play my games. I don't have a lot going on. I've got the flat to myself. I have time to crack on and get at least 10 games played. Every time a promo gets dropped, the weekend league gets extended. Friday night is a write-off, which kind of ruins my schedule. And I'm sure it messes up a lot of your schedules as well, if you're working, if you're in school, or you're studying. So it's a pain in the ass, man. I need to sort it out ASAP. And again, at the end of the day, what's the issue? Servers, right? Always comes down to server issues, which is fucking annoying. 3-0 down in this one, as I said, running away from it. Do pull one back to make a 3-1, but that is not going to be enough. Quick sip of my coffee. It's becoming a trademark in these videos as well, which is great. So, I love coffee. I work for a coffee company. If you want coffee, let me know. I can tell you a, a good recommendation. So, 11-2 in this one. Token Daily coming up next. 
It's a strong team. 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, very strong defence. What I'm noticing of a lot of teams currently is the defence seems to be very similar. Obviously, you, you have Varans, your Mendes, your Joe Gomez's, um, Semedo's, all that lot. And then it's just so, so, it's so much money spent on the back line that their midfield tends to be a bit weaker. But you've got more overpowered players in the midfield, I guess, with like Marcos Llorente, like my opponent has here. Um, I don't know if that's just me and the people I'm playing against, but it seems like that is the running trade. We do go 2-0 down, so it looks like we're going to get another loss here, unless we can pull back a bit of magic and get a comeback on the cards. Ramos scores for corners. I'm loving that you can score for corners. Obviously, I don't like Encina for corners, but I'm loving that I can score for corners. But Yella pulls on back. The shot power on that little man is ridiculous, and he smashes that into the goal. Press the opponent. Ultra attack if Rafa comes on into Ben Yedd's. Ben Yedd's running on into goal. He's going to bury that. Gets another goal. See, once again, I don't ever want to use him. He's untradeable, so I can't sell him and cash in on the money, which is frustrating. He's a very good card. He scored goals for me. And he's not too hard to link, but I get bored easily, okay? Until a decent SPC comes out. That's one other thing as well. A lot to talk about in this video, guys. So I might be talking about other shit more than the gameplay itself. I need a decent SPC to come out at this time of recording, Anderson Taliska has just been dropped. 4-4, high-low, awesome card. I might talk about him in tomorrow's episode. I do potentially want to do it. I've got a lot of fodder after taking untradeables for the past two weeks that I need to cash in. Because if I take untradeables tomorrow, I'm just going to end up getting duplicates and then it's going to be a bit of a mess and I'm not sure exactly what to do. So fingers crossed tonight, being Wednesday, there's a decent SBC that gets dropped. If not, I might look to do Anderson Taliska. Obviously, there's a Naki Williams currently as well, but I feel like Taliska is the better player and he's cheaper to get done. So, as you could see, White Rosh, we fucking smash him 5 2. It was only a matter of time, honestly. Only a matter of time. So, that makes us 12 and 2, I believe. And we're up against this guy now. It's a cool team. I mean, it's a bit all over the place, in all fairness. There's some cool special cards in there. I like the player, the player of the months, or whatever they are, and the, the one to watch is. But we get a bit lucky here. Opponent dives in. I don't think he meant to do it, but he does take me down. Simalas only a book him. But it's not a penalty shootout, so we're obviously going to score this one because that's all we do. Side netting all day, every day. Can never do that in penalty shootouts. I always lose my head a little bit. I need to work and keep it composed. So opponent comes in the attack here at one all. I make the mistake of bringing out Florenzi a little bit too far. Kind of wanted to track the, uh, the passing lanes, but I fail. And that goes through to Rashford, and it's an easy goal for my opponent. So we're just about to hit the second half here. Martial into Depay, into Ben Yedd, who gets a goal, creating a 2-1 lead for me. So happy days, feeling confident in this one, getting one step closer to 14 wins. Cancelo as well, still bossing it, honestly. So now how cheap he is, guys. He's a quality player. And my main man, the best centre mid, best budget centre mid in the game, Alessandro Florenzi, obviously he's a right wing back, play him centre mid guys, if you've got a red player pick, you've got to be using this man, it's just a waste if you have him on the bench, and my opponent decides he has enough, I was all over him towards the end of the game, majority of chances, could have made it more, but my opponent does end up quitting at 3-1, which is cool, I'll take the rage quit, I was pretty much half asleep at this stage of playing the games, so that is going to put us 13-2, and two, I believe, which means one more win away from gold three, that is the goal, as you can see, dominant in possession and shooting stats. This is the team we're up against. Un Union Solingen. Why do I always try and fucking pronounce the names that are just difficult to say, right? Every time I just look up there and I still go for it, still send it. Say Maximum, nice heel to heel there, smash that in spot corner, quality card. Untradeable in my team, so he will definitely be in next week's weekend league, probably with Martial as well, as they get a strong link. Or I could look to try and get a French bias with this new Mikieli objective card at right back. Maybe play him left back, for example. Opponent pulls one back, one all now. It is okay. We are not phased. Actually, to be fair, forgetting about this, this was a fucking sweaty game, this was. Um, say at maximum, does a little, <laughs> trying to get around the keeper. A bit of pressure here on the end. I think this is um, going to drop to Rafa in the end. So Rafa, Alan are on. I'm just trying to smash this, try and get the goal so I don't have to sweat out extra time. My bed is calling me. Rafa, into Martial, I don't know what happens there, but it creates a bit of space, and Rafa somehow gets to the end of it, and that is going to secure gold free for our team. The promised land has been made. I believe this is where I end my weekend league. I might go and end up playing a few more games later on, 
If I do, you'll see it in the next episode or the rewards tomorrow. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Nice short foot champs done. A bit of a talking point in regards to where I want to go with my team next. It all depends on tomorrow's episode, which should be a big one. So keep an eye out for that one. As I said at the start of the video, thank you for all the support. I'm really enjoying making these videos. So subscribers, likes, comments, it means a lot to me personally. Still pushing to 100 subs. That is the goal. If you can get me there, I would love you guys forever. So this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Guys, you could see coming up, gold free, the promised land. It's going to be interesting to see if we can secure better rewards. I read player picks last week were really good at Elite 3, so it'd be good to see if gold free comes in OP. A lot of people get lucky on gold free, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I've been Morsi. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode with our gold three or two rewards. Take it easy. Peace.